Yeah. But yeah, that's what I said. We go out and change that. You know, and we raised it what? From a thousand to fifteen hundred back. Mm -hmm. No, we took out, we put in the 15, it was 25%. No, well, there, there was more to it. Yes. There was a piece, uh, here was the struggle. The, the previous zoning administrator, Billy Inspector, was using old data in a couple different books, and then there was a piece of our ordinance that, was, that he had that was not in the current ordinance that we had. Remember the diagram, right. that was missing. And it's like, is that part, and we didn't know, we had no records or minutes to go back, that had, they had the diagrams that you know, permits were being issued on was not in our current ordinance. Right. And so we were struggling with what we do here. Yeah. And, and that's what, that's how this evolved. Yeah, really. That, that's a different argument, because we've had that argument, and we can fire that up tonight. We took the chart out. This zoning ordinance changed when we added the 500 foot and got allowed to build a building at all on a vacant lot. Because the rule was no buildings had a vacant lot, period. Yeah, right. 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 And then when we added, I can specifically remember coming without the chart. And the chart coming back in front of me, and I said, no, don't put that chart back in there, leave that thing But, but the chart was yeah. never in our ordinance. Yes, it was. Yeah. So well, it was in that yeah. yeah. It was in our ordinance. When the paperwork come in front of me, that I said, chart no. was in the ordinance. Yes. Right. And when we sent it to, the, when the people put the ordinance on to the disc for us, right. they left it off. That's, that's right. Okay, that's, you're right. That's and right. when they, we passed Thank you for that. It was, at, it was LSI, the yeah. disc. There were a lot of mistakes. I mean, how many hundreds of mistakes that, that didn't get transferred over? And that's what we contracted Leah, right? Yeah. To, yeah. to yeah. retype everything. And Chris, you're right, you're right. when we did the final passing, we changed a couple things and not to the pleasure of the planning commission. When we changed those, that chart was brought back up by Don then at our meeting. And I specifically remember saying, don't put it back in there. We don't want that chart in there. Then we come back a year later and put the chart back in. Okay? But when we put the chart back in, I specifically made the argument that it was unfair for the non-conforming lot to be at 25%, because if that lot was just one foot under an acre, he could have like a 6,000 square foot pull bar at the 25%, and the guy that's got five acres could only have three. Right. And by opening my mouth, the 1,500 got stuck in Okay, so I specifically remember this, because it's like crap, why did I open my mouth? I should have left it between Well, then you were the one that was at fault. I was, and I take the blame. <laughs> That's when the 1500 went in there. It was like, oh crap, now that sucks. Since then, we've had three variances granted specifically on that 1500 square feet. And, you know, okay. and there's so, a couple of things that we just we just came up with. I mean, yeah. One was the 500 feet. You know, first we talked about 100 foot. You know, what's reasonable? We didn't know. You know, yeah. we, just, we just came up with that. Well, we looked at the square a lot of there. different you know, areas around. Not, well, we had the one down on uh, what was it? Yeah. Down the south end. We had one on Bells. We had the yeah. Bells. We had that one. So I wanted to put up a garage or accessory building there. And uh, that was the CPA. Actually, I think that one got denied first. And he came back after we changed. I, mean, I think it was great that we, we well, did we this, you know, allow them on, but, but he was one of the reasons we started really well, that, that part of the overall has worked really well, yeah. other than that we had to put in there that it could be a, a deed restriction, right. and mm -hmm. not that the lots had to be combined. Right, so that was a legal that issue was there. Back. Yeah. So that, I mean, that, that part I think was really smart. You see it all, you look, go to any kind of lake communities, you see garages on these back lots all over the place. Well, it's just the size. It's Morgan's fault. Just remember that. Yeah, right. Well, but sure glad something. Damn it! I feel like they're somewhere. Well, they seem to write down whatever they say. Come on, give them a picture. It is. So, how big a pole barn should there be on a non-conforming lot? I know 
behind performing policy should be the biggest effort. Don't right? oh, we have the big monster one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 36 bananas. I don't have a problem. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how how many? That's why it's small. So, what are you bitching about? Yeah, a lot of bitching about it. Oh, how do I get into this? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know one of the discussions too, when we were talking about how big, remember? You know, what's, what size do we do? Well, then there was the discussion about, well, if you just go agricultural, you know, you could pretty much there's no limit, right? Because the Right to Farm Act, there's something there that says that you can't stop me from doing that's right. So, you know. There's a lot of discussion. But I know that we, we just said, okay, let's come up with another, you know, this is what we're going to do. Our higher zoning says, you know, our land is not zoned agriculture. Right. You know, and we still don't have. Which includes agriculture. I don't think we ever designated that. We were talking about it. There's a map that says agricultural. There's some old language in some of our. Well, we've got our. Talks about it. We've got our kind of our agricultural preserving preservation area in the master plan, but, but we've never. It's not zoned agricultural because we don't have an agricultural zone as such. Okay, what are we going? So we know we got an issue with six. Okay. But, you know, I'm, I don't want to be any clearer. If we were to do this, we need to start grid section 2 111. Right. A. Keep on going. And I do believe we should have the rest of the board here, too. Do what? The rest of the board here. It's on here. Oh, um, yeah. 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 Well, I guess, you yeah. know, it's just thing we can even talk about it, but I get it. This is you know, in my opinion. You know, we're looking, you know, as far as, like, I got three and a half acres, all right, or in a residential neighborhood, you know, you know, and I could build a 200 by 200 pole wire well, on, on three, three, on three and a half acres at 25 percent. Um, well, I think we've kind of discussed too that that's going to be really cost prohibitive. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Actually, right now, the way it's set, so you can only do 3,000 square feet. So, I'm not bitching, I'm just saying I could. You know, I could build uh, 3,815, 30,115 30, square foot. Yeah, but that's your 25%, right? That's my 25%. Right. Yeah. Nine, nine, four, yeah. About three and a half acres. Plots around my three and a half acres. Or but could, you could build a house that's three times that. Yeah, or I could build one pole barn 60 by 635 feet. Did you price that out? <laughs> but you know they are you know for a cost of paper seventeen thousand eighteen thousand thousand. Maybe I guess you gotta let some common sense prevail in here somewhere, guys. Right. Yeah. You know, like you look at for I'll give you a good example of where this ordinance plays a role that it doesn't make a lot of sense. Is drive down the road going to my house. Okay, on 52nd Street, one side is lakefront, one side is not. Okay, and you were down that road, and a friend of yours, and a guy I know very well, Mike Cole, has got a pole barn, I believe it's 50 by 100. Pretty good. Okay, now as you go down the road, the folks on this side of the road, they get to drive right off the road, and their pole barns have everything right there because the road is their backyard. The water is their front yard. So everybody on this side of the road has the road and a pole barn. The people on the other side of the road, they can't do that. Okay? They have to drive all the way around the house, put a driveway that goes all the way around and have their pole barn behind the house. Because the pole barns have to be in your backyard. 
Okay? But I have yet to hear anybody in this 